Hi everybody, it's Kerry here at the Northeast Autism Society and today we're going to be talking about telling your child about um, the diagnosis. So I've got with me George. You, can you just introduce yourself for us, George? Uh, sure, trying to work out what you might want to know. My name is George Watts, I'm autistic. Um, I have two kids, one of whom you can probably hear. Uh, I think she's singing something there. Um, that's fine. So, yeah, I, I study autism and yeah, that's kind of, the, the way I explain it to my eldest is I teach people how to be kind to autistic people. That's Yeah, absolutely. That's what I do, really. So yeah. Brilliant. Um, so I suppose, George, the reason I wanted to chat to you is we get lots of questions from parents, particularly around um, telling their child that they are autistic. Um, so, I mean, what is your view on that? Should should children and young people be told that they're autistic? Yeah, that was the first thing I really wanted to say. I think it's really important that kids are told that they're autistic. I think some parents have this view that they're protecting their children from stigma by, by sort of keeping that information from them. They don't want them to be treated differently from other people. Um, but I think that always backfires. I think even if the kids don't know they're autistic, there's no spider. <laughs> even if the kids don't know they're autistic other kids will pick up on it the people around them pick up on it and they will be treated differently anyway mm -hmm. yeah because I think we've had um, people that have been diagnosed autistic later in life as well and they say to us that actually all their, all their life starts to make sense it actually is a bit of a relief to understand that they're autistic Right, George, so one of the questions we get asked a lot um, is how, how, how best can you tell your child they're autistic? So I think it really depends on the individuals, um, on the child, on their age, their level of understanding, and I think also how much they've been exposed to ideas about autism already. Um, so we are particularly autism positive in this household, so um, my daughter here knows that I'm autistic. Um, and so when she was diagnosed, well, before she was diagnosed, I didn't feel able to tell her. So the, the phrase we used was that she's different from most people. And that was why she was finding things difficult. Um, because I didn't feel able to use the word autism with her until we had that formal diagnosis. Um, mostly because I think school and so on wouldn't have been okay with that. Um, so once she was diagnosed, I can see... Once she was diagnosed, it was something that we really celebrated. Uh, and so what we did uh, was we, we kind of made a, a celebration of it. And I got a whole bunch of autistic friends to write her congratulations cards. And so it was like, welcome to the community. Um, and the things like, I can, I can, I've got a quote of something someone wrote. Uh, so a friend of mine wrote, Remember that no matter what some people might say, there will always be other autistic people out there who are ready to celebrate you for exactly who you are, and I am one of them. And I think that's just, you know, the autistic community is so positive. We're showing you the cat now. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, because I do groups for young autistic people and um, between the ages of kind of 10 to 16 and I suppose for them many of them have never been in the room before with another autistic person and the benefit yeah. that has had for them just being able to chat and just you know connect with their community I think that's vital isn't it the community part of it is vital yeah we, we really need each other and I think even where people might not have access to a local community and um, I think the internet is just full of resources where autistic people can connect and, mm -hmm. and find each other. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think we desperately need people who understand what it's like to experience the world the way we do. Yeah, absolutely. Because we're surrounded every day, you know, in schools, in work, everywhere we are in society, we're surrounded by people who just don't get it. I mean, even yeah. with the best women in the world. Yeah we're constantly being told oh well you shouldn't feel that way or you're overreacting or you know so to have people who understand it without us having to explain things it takes away a lot of that emotional labor yeah it's about you being validated isn't it like yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's so powerful i think that's the thing which has made the greatest difference to my mental health just 
having people who really, really understand, even though they're from very different walks of life, the, the, the commonalities of our experience are amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's been brilliant. I think that topic's probably covered now. That's great. <laughs>